Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be doing a project pan update for the month of July. So if you're new to this, in my project pan I pick five makeup items to be working on all at the same time in conjunction with other things in my collection and my goal is to completely use up these items. And as I use them up, I roll something else in for my collection to start working on. So if you want to see an update on the five things that I have been working through, then just keep watching. So the first item is my primer and it's my Essence Hello Good Stuff Primer. We have made pretty good progress. It always seems misleading when I look at the side because there's got a little bit of extra, but I think we are about down to underneath the word primer, like right here. So definitely making some good progress. I think this will take me another two months to use up if I'm being honest. I would love for it to be one month, but just based on the progress that I've made each month, I think there's about two months left in this, which is fine with me. This is a really nice primer. It's like five or six dollars. It's moisturizing and I've just really enjoyed using it and I'm glad to have this in this project. So we will just keep chugging along using this. I use this pretty much every day when I do my makeup. So it's also a good measure of showing just actually how long it takes to use up a product even when it's in a small bottle like this. And I just use like one pump or like half a pump. So a little goes a long way. Enjoying using this and we will just keep moving along. Next is my bronzer from NARS, the mini one, the Laguna shade. I said that in a really weird way. My mini NARS Laguna bronzer. And, okay, it's actually showing up. I was like, it's actually hard to see from the angle. There is a tiny bit of pan peeking through right there. There's like a weird edge going on to this product right here. So I don't really know what that's about, but technically I hit pan, which was my goal for July. I really wanted to see some pan and progress. And again, I definitely feel like it's wearing down and I can see more of the edge of the pan the more that I use it. So I am hopeful that the pan will just keep expanding in August. And I think that there is more product in here than meets the eye. So I, I am hesitant to say that it will only take me like two months to use this up because I actually think this might take me the rest of the year. But I am excited to see progress, even if it's that tiny pinprick of pan, it just shows you something and kind of motivates me a little more to be like, okay, like it is wearing down, I am using it and I'm getting use out of it and that feels good. So that is where we're at on the mini NARS Laguna bronzer. Next is my face powder. It's the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Powder in the old packaging. I had repressed this powder last time I had this in my project pan and then stopped using it because it was too dark for me. So my goal is to use this up in August because we're getting to the point again in the year where this might end up being too dark for me and I don't want to keep holding on to this. So I definitely think I could do that. Last time I don't even know trying to remember, I don't even think there was much pan in here, if any, and now there's definitely a lot, especially once you repress something, it's a lot easier to hit pan again and kind of break up the product and get more on your brush. So I feel like that's what's happening. So I just want to be really consistent in August with using this. And I don't want to like use a ton just to use a ton because I really don't. I usually just put it in my T-zone, but the, the layer is so thin from the repressing that I am hopeful and you know confident that I will be able to use this up by the end of August. So hopefully in the next update, this will be empty and out of my collection and we will be rolling something in in its place. But that is where we are at with the powder, making good progress and ready to get this out of my collection as my oldest powder by far. It still works well and I enjoy it, but you know, since then Maybelline has reformulated and repackaged, so it's it's time for this to go. Next is my brow powder from ABH. Made a lot of progress on this one too. I finally was able to kind of break, like break the seal right here. So there's more space in between. There's pan, full pan in the middle. So definitely making progress. And I know I say every time that I think it's going to take me the rest of the year to use this up. And I still feel that way because even though I was able to make that progress, in the past month, I still, again, like the powder 
the face powder, I'm not using a ton of this whenever I use it. So there's still, you know, quite a bit built up around the edge over here and it's a little thicker. So there's still quite a bit of product to use, honestly, but I am very hopeful and optimistic and just motivated that this will be gone by the end of the year. This is a product that is definitely worth your money, in my opinion. I've had this for years and it's still going strong and it, I think it's worth what you pay for it. I don't know if I will buy it again when it's empty because again, I go through phases where sometimes I like brow powder and other times I want more like a brow mascara type situation. So I might, since I've been using a powder for so long, I might want to switch up my brow products and do that or use a pencil or something. But we will see, but we will keep chugging along on this and hopefully use this up by the end of the year. And last but not least is my lip liner from Makeup Forever. This is what we're looking like. We are at the P in makeup on the side. So definitely making progress. I'm trying really hard to be better about being consistent with using this and using this multiple times a day, like reapplying, because I do work in an office, nine to five type of job. So I put this on in the beginning of the day, you know, as I'm getting ready and want to look fresh, but then I'm trying to remember to reapply, especially after lunch or if I go have like a morning snack or something, just kind of reapplying my lip products to keep myself looking fresh and put together and also make sure that I'm using this. So I think I will be able to use this up by the end of the year. It's still quite a lot of pencil left, but again, if I'm consistent about using it multiple times a day, then I think I can maybe be able to sharpen this more than one time a month and we will see more progress. So that is where we're at with the pencil. So there are no empties for this month, but that's okay. That is sometimes how it goes with project panning. I feel like we are really close on a few of the items though. So hopefully next month we will see one empty and then maybe the month after we'll see maybe one or two more. So I think that I'm making great progress on these items. I enjoy project panning and kind of using these older things in my collection and getting them out. And then it helps me think about, well, what are the kind of things that I wanna keep bringing into my collection and how much of it do I really need? What do I enjoy? What formulas do I like? Like I just said with the brow powder, I like powder, but after you use it for so long, you're like, I kinda wanna switch it up. So that means I don't need to go out and replace this as soon as I use it up because I have other things that are different formulas, different types of products that I can use instead and kind of have a different experience while doing my makeup. So that is that for this month's update. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and if you're also project panning, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified of all of my upcoming videos and I will see you next week. Bye everyone.